In this video, I'm going to walk you through your affiliate URL details page or your link details page and show you all of the things you can do with it inside Lasso. Here we go. So I'm just going to click into Grammarly's link details page. So again, this will be a quick walkthrough of all of the parts and what they all mean. So starting here with the name. Now you can create a name for your affiliate link here and the name, this is how it'll appear across your site. Uh, whether you're using a single display, a list, a grid, that's how it's going to appear. And if you needed to change it, you can do it right there. And that was horrible typing on my part, but that's where you will see the changes occur in real time. The permalink. So this is your cloaked link. We only cloak non-Amazon links. Uh, we don't cloak Amazon links because we want to stay compliant with Amazon. Your primary destination URL. So this is your actual affiliate link. So whenever you add a new link, that's where you're going to do it. Or if you ever need to update or replace an affiliate link, you can do that here. The button text, these are your call to action buttons. Uh, by default, if I just remove that lasso, it'll read buy now. So by default, that's if you, have, if you leave it blank, that's how it will look. But if you want to change that, that's where you can do it. And again, you'll see all the changes occur in real time. Okay. So your secondary URL, let's just scroll down. So your secondary URL. So this is if you wanted to add a second affiliate link, right? So for example, let's just say you have a product and you want to link to both Target and Walmart's affiliate program, that's where you can do it. Or um, another example is say this Grammarly display appears somewhere else on your site. Your readers scrolling through, they see the display, um, but they're not ready to sign up for Grammarly yet. So what you can do is add a secondary call to action button or secondary link and link it to your product review. So that way your reader comes across that, not ready to sign up, cool, they click the secondary button that sends them to your product review and then, oh, okay, they've, they've got enough information, they know what they need to know, and now they, they can go ahead and they can sign up for the affiliate program. So, and you would just change this the same way you changed the primary destination URL and the button for that. So you just change it here. So perhaps you wanna send them, like I mentioned, to your product review. You can just type in something like, read my review. And there you go. And then you just add the link to your product review right there. Groups. So groups lets you organize your affiliate links by category, but you can also display them as grids, lists, and galleries, which we cover in another video. But if you ever needed to add a specific product URL to a group, you can just do it right here. You can just create a group and you just click on it. There it is. Um, and if you want to remove it, just click the X and there you go. Okay. Add custom fields. So these are things like star ratings, pros and cons, or other attributes to describe your products, right? So you can either create a new one or you can add from our library of fields. Now, currently we only have a couple. We have a few, we have a primary rating, that's your star rating, or a list of pros and cons. And that one down there, best for beginners, that was just something I created in the create new column. And you just click that right here. And you can also click the learn button right there. And then there is a whole other tutorial on how to use the fields. All right, let's scroll back up to the top. So this Grammarly logo, if you wanted to change that, update it, whatever you want to do, that's where you do it. And you would just do it the way you normally would using WordPress. So you can just upload from your media library inside WordPress, or you can do it from say your laptop, from saved images you have there, but that's where it'll be. And again, if you are uploading an Amazon, or excuse me, if you're adding an Amazon link, um, Lasso grabs the image and adds it to your display automatically. You don't have to do a thing. Okay, scrolling down here is the display theme. So you can preview how your display will look 
or make changes if you decide that's not what you want to do. Maybe you want something that's borderless, like the flow theme, you can do that. Or if you want something a bit more defined with a richer border, you can try something like Cutter and you can see it display right there. I'm just going to toggle back to Splash. Okay. So the price for non-Amazon links, that's where you're going to add it. Uh, for Amazon links, Lasso grabs the price automatically, so you won't have to worry about that. Um, you can also add things like free trial, um, you know, and things like that, and the price will display right beneath the name here. And if you wanted to turn it off, so for example, if you wanted to hide the price for whatever reason, you can just toggle it off or toggle it on right there. That's how you do that. And your badge text, right up here, you see this little badge, it says our pick. So here's where you can personalize recommendations, right? You can, you can change the text right here. You can have it read bestseller. Maybe you want it to read my pick. Whatever, whatever it is, that's where you can make the change right there. And then your product description. So right here is where you're going to add any details about your product. And again, the, the description, this will appear in your displays, your grids, in your lists, uh, your affiliate disclosure. So Lasso has one that appears by default that reads, we earn a commission if you make a purchase at no additional cost to you. If you don't want to use it, you can change it here. And if you want to hide your disclosure, you can just go ahead and toggle it off right there. That's how you do that. So detect opportunities. So Lasso looks for potential monetization opportunities for this Grammarly URL here. And you can see at the top of your link details page right here under opportunities. So you can see there are seven potential monetization opportunities for Grammarly next to the location. So you can see right here locations for I have used this Grammarly lasso link four times on my site. And if we scroll back down here, link cloaking right down, here we go. So link cloaking, you can turn it off if you want to. Um, with Amazon, it is off by default because again, we want to remain compliant with Amazon's terms of service. But that's right there, you can just turn it off and on right there, toggle it on or off if you want. And then right at the top of the screen here, you can you can also copy the short code if you needed to. You can copy it to your clipboard. But again, if you're inside the WordPress editor, you can all you can do it from right there. You don't have to dive back into this Grammarly link details page and grab the short code. Uh, you can do it from your editor inside WordPress directly. So once you've added all of the info to your link details page, you just scroll to the bottom here and click Save Changes right there. And that's it, that's a breakdown of your affiliate URL details page. Now you can also click the chat icon in the lower right corner of your screen if you have more questions. One of our team members will reply ASAP. Now we also have a substantial support center where you can find more articles about how to use Lasso to grow your affiliate business.